Mac Heads 101. And um, a, um, a lot of people don't have access to admin on their computer. And they want to be able to access ad admin so they can run stuff on terminal and stuff like that. And um, unless you have a um, Mac OS X Leopard, you can't enable root the way we showed you. And you can't enable root through the GUI unless you're an admin. So this is another way that can work in other operating systems such as Tiger. Note, this will not work in, in, if you have single user mode. Oh, um, not single user. If you have um, open firmware password disk utility, because that is an application that blocks any boot besides the normal boot. But basically, if you can do any boot besides the normal boot, then you'll be fine. Then this process should work. So the first thing you need to do is to Sorry about that. So the first thing you need to do is to restart your computer. So you hold the power button once and you click restart. Right now I am not an administrator by the way. And I don't know how well you can see this but I'll put the codes on the video as well as in the description of the video too. I'll dim the brightness so you guys can see. There we go. I think you guys can see a little better now. But um, the codes will be there. So just hit restart. I'm just going to close those tabs, sorry about that. But this time you hold Apple S, and the S does stand for single user mode, in case you're wondering. So, it'll reboot in single user mode, which is basically the Unix command. It's like a full screen terminal logged into the root. So the first thing you want to do is to mount the file system. And so you, there's the, the command to do this. Uh, it'll also be on the screen and in the, in the description of the video. It's slash sbin slash mount space dash uw space dash uw space slash and after you press that just press enter and another line should come up just type this code rm space slash var sl um slash db dot apple set up done okay and basically um hold on I have to type it right okay but basically what that command does is it deletes a file and it's not a very important file um hold on let me just type the command in var slash db slash um dot apple set up done so basically the first time you op op open your Mac you get a startup video and all that but and um as you can see in a second and basically as soon as um that process is done your Mac um thinks your Mac thinks that you're you have um what's it called it, it puts that file there so that way and says if that file's there then um, reboot normally, and if that's not there, then reboot the setup way. So now that I press that, I'm just going to press enter, and I'll get a new line as normal. So I'm just going to say reboot to reboot my machine. And as you can see, my machine is going to reboot. But this is not a normal reboot, reboot. Again, it thinks I'm turning on my Mac for the first time, but just because that file's missing. But it's, because that file missing doesn't mean that all my files are missing. So all my files are still going to be there. But it's just going to do the startup video, as you can see. Or it's going to say use English as main language. Just select that. Wait a little bit. Okay, and here's the Tiger startup video. Okay. Okay, so now it's going to ask you 
what what keyboard you can use, just say English. Well, you can say whatever you want. I'm gonna say English. Okay. Not, okay, then th there's a couple important steps, so you have to keep watching this video, even though you probably think you understand it all now, because you don't. Okay, say, do not transfer my information, because it's asking if you want to get information onto your Mac, because it thinks you don't have any information on it, but you do. So you say, continue. Say, do not transfer my information, or you will lose everything. It'll ask you to select your keyboard, continue with that. Okay, it'll ask you if you have a Wi-Fi. You can do it and then type your password. Okay, I'll just type my Wi-Fi password. Okay. It's connecting. Let ask you if you have an Apple to ID. I'll just say um I'll just say my Apple ID. The So all of these questions shouldn't matter, but there's going to be some that are going to matter, so you have to keep watching. Now it should load all your information about your Apple ID, you can continue, just ask you where you're going to use your computer, it doesn't really matter what you say, this is just for Apple's purposes. Now, this is the most important step, so pay attention or you could mess everything up. Right here, it says create your account. And it's going to, um, I'm just going to call my account Poop. Because I'm just going to remove the account right after this video because I, of course, have admin access to this. So, and then I'll make the password Poop. Okay, and then I'll verify it. Poop. There we go. Now, that's, now, you do not make an account that you already have that name. Because then it will replace that account with the, this new account. So it has to be called something that you don't have an account yet. Because I don't want people getting mad at me saying, I didn't warn you and they lost all their files. Because if you make an account that already has an account name, it's the last time I'm going to say it, you're going to lose all your files. Don't go blaming me. So then you can just say create or continue. It's creating the account. As you can see, it says take a video snapshot. Or you can choose one from the library. I'll choose one from the library. Continue. We'll ask you if you say, I'll just say, um, I don't want to try mobile me because I'm just going to waste time because I'm just going to remove the account afterwards. And then it'll say done. Now, there's a couple other stuff that I want to tell you about. So just wait for this to finish loading. Now, it'll reboot you into your account, and by default, every time you reboot your computer, it'll be into that account. Now, first off, um, for those who just wanted to change the current administrator password, um, you can go into System Preferences after you make your admin account. You can't do this before you make an admin account. And then you go under Accounts. You click the lock to make the changes, and I'll just type poop, because that's the password I made. Okay, and here are all the accounts. So here's another administrator, and I can just say reset password, and it'll ask you for a new password and um, to verify the new password. And you don't need to know their old password. So if you have a school computer, you can do that. Um, by the way, don't go telling everyone that you got it from us, because then we could get in trouble. Okay, and the last thing is a lot of people want to make they want to make an admin account and not change the password of admin accounts. So that's fine. But there's something we really recommend doing. It's called root. And what root is, is an admin account that has more power than admin does. And it's invisible. So if you go on the login screen, you won't see it. So to do this, hold on. It's asking me for my, um, for my stuff. Okay. So to do this, you go into directory utility. And that'll be in your utilities folder in applications. So go in applications and click on U for utilities. And you should find something that's called directory utility. You can open that and then you can say at the top enable root. Or you can just watch our video enable root the easy way on your Mac. As I think that was called. So I hope this helped you. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a nice day. Subscribe to MacKids101 and goodbye.